So the process is uh, we I do I do my mixture of a cream with the sugar the my avocado, I mix all this, then I add that in a, my white chocolate and I do my ganache, my emulsion. Then this, when it's ready, I let it sit for almost 12-13 hours before I can uh, pipe it. So when it's hard, I can I put this in a pastry bag and I'm piping it on the, on the tray with a parchment paper. Then this, I let it dry for 24 hours. Then when I, the, the next day, I'm going to roll them. So I take the, each truffle in my hand and I roll them. Then I put them back on the tray. Then I let them dry another 24 hours. So all this, it's uh, for the chef life. It's uh, for the, we try to take uh, the, the most of the much moisture out because the bacteria develop with uh, air and uh, humidity so we try to avoid that. Then the third day we uh, dip them in uh, the chocolate so twice one time just like that then the second uh, time we add uh, at the end a little uh, sprinkle of uh, Taishan vanilla sea salt. And they're so good. When you think of avocado truffle, you, 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 you just wonder, you know, avocado, but this is so good. It just, it's, it's fabulous. It just melts in your mouth. And I think people are surprised when they try it. And we have people that, that ask all year round for the, the avocado truffle. And we, we tell them that they, they have to wait, you know, they have to wait. It's only, it's reserved for this time of the year. And, uh, he, so they are he, yeah. available for two weeks in, in our shop only. Well, it was, I, I think, I, and I'm speaking pretty much for him, but um, we, we didn't want to do restaurants anymore, and we thought about a bed and breakfast, um, but that also would tie us in. And uh, so we needed to do something that Jean-Michel was going to be very creative and that I could do the marketing on. And so um, this, is, this is what we decided to do. And it was the best thing we ever did because we opened up and um, four years later we were able to open a second shop in downtown Santa Barbara and we opened at um, a really hard time. We really didn't do our homework for that because we came in 2006 where just the economy was uh, diving and it was very difficult to have anybody help us. We didn't want to spend all our money from the sale of our restaurant in our home from France, but pretty much that's what we did. And we said, let's just do it, let's go for it. Just the two of us and let's, let's see. So we did and it. We did. And here we are.